A Louisiana family is counting their blessings after their two young girls and their dog were found after a major search. We just witnessed a moment when seven year old Abigail Borg and four year old Cecilia Borg were reunited with their family after they went missing for nearly five hours on Monday night. Multiple agencies and resources poured into a wooded area near the home and began searching. One of their canine officers eventually tracked both the girls and the dog, finding them nearly a mile away from their backyard. A Fort Worth family believes they found their long lost daughter and sister 51 years after she was kidnapped. They say the most unbelievable part is that she was in Fort Worth all that time. Unimaginable. Melissa Highsmith vanished back in 1971 when her mother left her with a babysitter. The family finally got the big clue when they submitted some DNA to a genealogy website and then they quickly found a match through Melissa's children. Crazy story. Happy ending though. Well, here is a happy and bizarre story for you as well this morning. It all started when an ice sheet broke away from the shore on Red Lake, Minnesota. We've covered it all week. And if that incident in itself was not enough for the 200 people that were stranded on the ice, well, they also had a show. There was a marriage proposal that happened there at the same time. A hibbing couple got engaged during all that chaos on Monday. Andy Labarge and Lydia Tolley have been together for three years, and they say every year they go out ice fishing on Red Lake for that early ice. Andy had tied my ring on a lure and put it on my bobber line and I came back in and he's like, oh, you got a fish. So I reel it up and it's this ring and he's on a knee and I was like, oh my God. As they just floated off. <laughs> <laughs> Into the sunset. The couple says they will never forget that engagement and it all came before first responders rescued 200 people from that sheet of ice, that flow of ice that had broken off. Yeah, wow. you won't forget that engagement story. Wow. Well, the Prince and Princess of Wales are on their way to Boston this morning. On Friday, the royal couple will give out the annual Earthshot Prize, which was created in 2020 by William and David Attenborough. Kensington Palace says the Prince and Princess will meet with local organizations trying to mitigate rising sea levels in that area. Well, let's see how people are responding now to that question of the morning on Facebook. Our question today, over 30% of these will happen between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. And here are the answers you are giving us. We must all be in a dark mood this morning. Yeah, Byron says divorces. Lainey says car crashes. And Kevin says ER visits. You know, it could be any one of those. I'm hoping not. Everyone be mindful on the roadways. Yeah, be careful Take care out of there. yourselves this season. Wow. We will be back with the correct answer a little later on. If you want to chime in on the conversation, head on over to our Valley News Live Facebook page new at 630 for you. She says she warned Walmart and now she is suing them because they didn't get rid of the manager who later opened fire on their co-workers last week. And it's a waiting game at airports right here in the valley. A southern Minnesota snowstorm is messing with air travel plans for people in Fargo and in Grand Forks. It's a live look at Hector International Airport. We'll be right back. We're also getting that check of our weather here in uh, the valley. Look at that wind blowing down at Hankinson. Lisa Green has your forecast.